Hello everyone, it's me, Spudzilla Productions again. I'm sorry I haven't uploaded a video in a while. I just felt creative. I'm creative recently. But anyways, today I'm going to be reviewing the Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong Atomic Blast Godzilla Kong the Battle Axe the Jack Pacific Mothra and the Jack Pacific 6 inch Rodan. We're going to start with Godzilla because he's the one who started the monster verse. Now, Godzilla, uh, as you can tell, he's about 6 inches tall. He's a pretty decent little figure. Anyway, he's made out of a kind of cheap hollow plastic, but it's okay because it's a kid's toy. It's really just born up. For an accessory, it comes with his atomic breath and a <laughs> bow damage. Let me just put that back in. Sorry if I'm making sound effects. For articulation, Godzilla has a opening and closing mouth. Yep. <laughs> he has a rotation at the head. <laughs> rotation at the arms. They can go all the way around. They he can kick forward and back. He can kick same with the other side. And he's got a ball jointed tail. Now, how you put the atomic breath in his mouth is that, well, first you open it, and then there's this little tiny nubbin, which you're going to shove down Godzilla's throat. And there he is, he's spitting out his atomic breath. Now on to Kong. Because he's the bit more interesting. Here is Kong from, well, G Godzilla vs. Kong. As you can see, it looks a lot different than the Kong Skull Island Kong, but oh well. For articulation, this guy, oh yeah, he has a battle axe, which some people say this could be made with a Godzilla dorsal plate. For me personally, I think it's some sort of crystal that he finds in the hollow work that he makes the axe out of along with the bone. You can put it in his hand by stretching it out his fingers. And there he is, holding the axe. So articulation. He has a swivel at the head, which you can go all the way around. He has a rotation at the shoulder. His arm can go out. His, he has a swivel here and a bend at the elbow, along with a swivel here. No worse swivel. His legs can kick that far, and his legs can't kick that far back because they, because Kong's luscious monkey cheeks get in the way. That's pretty much, oh yeah, the, and much like Godzilla, he has the exact same bowel damage feature where you can rip off a piece of his flesh, and that's pretty freaking, that's pretty fucking awesome if you ask me. You can just put it back in, and there he is. Kong. Or as me and my friends call him, Monkey. Next up, we have Rodan. From the, this is the Rodan version 2 from the Jack Pacific line of Godzilla King of the Monsters figures. He's a pretty interesting figure. Yeah. Now this one's going to be a little different because I actually have to show you this. He's actually got painted eyes in front. Let me bring back a little real quick. See, this side looks fine. But... The other side, as you can see, his eyes are sort of dripping out of his eye socket on this side. However, Rodan 
Kong and Mothra, their eyes are pretty alright. Anyways, for our articulation for Rodan, his wingskin lamp, obviously, at the weirdest joint ever, but oh well. He has a swivel at the neck, which is kind of cool. And his legs can kick up. And they can go back, and that's Rodan. He's a pretty cool figure, by the way. He comes with no accessories, as he is not a Playmates figure. Now we move on to the most underwhelming of the figures, and that would be Mothra herself. Now, Mothra, again, made by Jack Specific, her wings are actually stickers. Thankfully, you don't have to apply these. These are pre-applied labels. And, as you can see, her eyes are evenly painted. For articulation, she's got just got a bald joint at the wings, and that's pretty much it. For size comparison, we have the Playmates Godzilla. 12-inch Godzilla from GVK next to Mothra. Rodan. Kong. And Godzilla. And why not? Just for the hell of it. Um. Well, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, yeah. Never mind. And for the hell of it. Spikezilla. That's pretty much it for the Godzilla vs. Kong figure review. Well, Godzilla vs. Kong and Godzilla KOTM figure review. If you would like to watch another video by me, please um, uh, click on my channel, like, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.